the most beautiful and adorable couple in town. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Indika Ojiro. The families of Chinweke, Kia Peter, and Augustine Ogbevere Diga came together on the 4th of February 2023 at the Christ Embassy North East Group Church, Ibadan, as their children were joined in holy matrimony. <laughs> What am I, what am I looking for? Say my God, it don't mess me up. He give me you, give you me. From her makeup to jewelries to her white and shiny wedding gown, the bride Ogechi Chinere was beautifully adorned at the Koto Hotel Plaza and suits. <laughs> After getting ready, the bride and groom Ogechi Chinere and Ejiro Doni went ahead for a photo shoot and then moved to the venue of events. Baby, you know, say you, you got love for me. Yeah. I don't go, I don't go. I won't go, I won't go. When I call your name, you shall got love for me. wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this congregation and here too have pledged their love and faith to each other by the giving and receiving of rings I pronounce in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that they are husband and wife together from this day forward I'm going to ask you this question do you take Okay, she Peters as your wife to love her even as Christ loved the church to protect her and care for her to stand with her in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ in hurt, prosperity and joy and also to stand with her in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ against sickness, poverty and death all your lives if you do, you say yes, I do Yes, I do. Glory to God. So to the groom, turn to her and make this profession of faith. So you repeat it after me. You say, I, I, Ejiro Idiga, Ejiro Idiga, according to the word of God, according to the word of God, and the statement of my vows. And the statement of my vows. Join myself to you. Join myself to you. To be your husband. To be your husband. From henceforth. From henceforth. We shall be one. We shall be one. Hallelujah. Now to the bride. Okay, Chief Peters. Do you take Ejiro Idiga as your husband? Submitting yourself to him as the head of this union, to stand with him in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ in heart, prosperity, and joy, and not just to stand with him in the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ against sickness, poverty, and death all your lives. If you do, you say, Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So to the bride now, as we are facing him. You will make this profession of your vows, of your faith. So I, I O okay, Peters, okay, Peters, according to the word of God, and to the state and the statement of my vows. Statement of my vows hereby, join to you, hereby join myself to you. To be your wife. To be your wife. From henceforth, From henceforth we, shall be one. we shall be one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
distance. Will you move closer? Will you compress? Yes. Or you have to bend over. Don't worry, it's just for now. It's just for now. So go ahead. The presiding pastor, Father John Ogechi, and Ejiro in holy matrimony as they signed their marriage certificate. Prayers and more prayers continuously poured in for the couples. I present to you your marriage certificate. So hold it, cherish it, keep it. It must not be lost. Aunt must not eat it. So you can show anybody that you are married. Glory to God. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Families, friends, and loved ones expressed their happiness for the married couples and also gave their advice. She's genuine, she's honest, she's straightforward, she doesn't hide her feelings. She, she's loyal and she's dedicated to her work, you know. There's a lot to say about her, to summarize her. She's just wonderful. They are both wonderful. I feel great. If you see something that is good enough to emulate, you, you feel great about it. It, it, is, it is just too awesome. It is, you know... It's a day to behold and a, a, a day to pray for too. So I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad I'm present. Marriage can be beautiful. It depends on what you put into it. What you give is what you get. So my advice is that whatever it is they want to get out of the marriage should be exactly what they put into it. If they put in, you know, good works, they will reap good works. If they put in joy and peace, that is what they will get back. My prayer for them is that they will enjoy marriage. They will not have to enjoy it. They will be fruitful in their body. Their finances will increase. They will be healthy all around. And then they will give birth to children that will bring joy and happiness to them. And above all, they will love God more and serve Him more, even together. In fact, it is the glory of God that we keeping us together. And uh, the strength and uh, the love that God has uh, granted us, that has sustained us, and we recommend the same to our children that are getting married today. Let them be guided by love. Let them be guided by the word of God. And uh, they will excel. They, they will excel beyond uh, every limit. My advice for them is to keep loving God. Go keep listening to the word of God, to keep asking God for anything they want to do, to keep God first in anything they want to do. For a marriage to keep, I mean, going on, because we are in marriage for 30, 45 years now. We are still in love. So if God is in the house, there is always love. God is love. If you are with God, if God make God first in their life, their life, they will live 100 years ago. My prayer for them today is that um, Almighty God eh, is going to grant them um, good health, long life, eh, and prosperity. And above it all, whatever they are going to use for the upbringing of the family, they shall not lack in Jesus' name. There shall be abundance. They should just trust God. Uh, message is a work. They should just put in the work and every other thing will fall in place. And most importantly, they should put God first. Uh, my prayer for her is that her home will be joyous and peaceful in Jesus' name. The newly wedded couple described each other with nice and kind words as they appreciate all present to share in the joy. She's humble, she's polite, she, she's full of wisdom, knowledge, she's accountable, many beautiful things. But above all, it's her love for God and her um, obedience to the Word of God, to the, to the rules and the guidance of the Word of God. That's the key part, that's the most important thing. I love her and then she should keep knowing God more because that's the only way um, relationships are built it's based on God's word so that's my um, my word my message to her all I have to say is that it's going to be a blissful interesting fun glorious home oh I want to thank 
God specially for making this day possible. Um, it seems as if it will not happen, but I'm happy that it's happened. And um, I'm thankful to friends and family that stood by me. I say God will bless them so much. And I wish them safe trip back to their destination. As Ogechi and Ejiro Idiga come together as one, Claire TV wishes them a marriage filled with love, forgiveness, happiness and prosperity.